Welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and welcome to 2011. This is actually my first video of 2011. And here we go. This is, we're looking at TCP View. It is a very small utility for Windows and it's from SysInternals, formerly of SysInternals, and they are now part of Microsoft. What this program does is it shows off ports that are open and ports that programs and processes are trying to connect to. And it does somewhat similar thing to the command line version of Netstat, right? So if you go into command line, you type in Netstat, you get protocol, you get IP addresses, ports, all that good stuff, and their session state. So this is simply a graphical and much better way of viewing things. So we're looking at the program now. If you don't know how to find it, all you have to do is go to Google, type in TCP, TCP view, and it's going to be the first one up here. Click on it and install it. It's about 230K, so it's a very small program. You unzip it, and then you will end up with four files, the EULA, uh, this is a command line version of that. This is some help stuff. Uh, I never bother reading that. But the program you want to double click on is tcpview.exe. And what you will get is this menu right here, this uh, screen. And so very simple, shows a bunch of columns. On the left hand side is your process name. So I've got Dropbox running. Uh, Dropbox is a very cool utility. Everyone should use it. The process ID, the ID numbers here, what protocol, so TCP, UDP, all this good stuff. Local address, local port, remote address, you can see here it's resolved out. Remote port, session state, packets sent. So if you want, you can click on sent packets and it will order it by packets. So you want to see which one is being the busiest. You know, so this is a very good diagnostic utility if you're running into some network problems or maybe troubleshooting a virus or a Trojan horse. You want to see a list of processes and, you know, you might see something like, oh, well, you know, what's that? And try to mess around with it. There's a couple interesting utilities or a couple interesting menu options that you get. If you right click on a process, you get something similar to Task Manager. You can end it. You can look at process properties, stuff like that. You can save the output here, so what you see on the screen. You can click this A here, and it will stop the resolving of addresses. So you can see here in the remote address, you can see DNS names. If I click on the A here, you can see those turn into just IP addresses. Then we have show unconnected endpoints. This might let you see stuff that's trying to connect out and not getting an answer back. You could you probably noticed that this thing refreshes every couple seconds. What we can do is go up to view and you can see update speed. It is set by default to every one second. We could set it to two seconds, five seconds, or we could pause it. And if we go to, let's see here, file, nothing too interesting. We could save, we could copy stuff and pretty much everything else is self-explanatory. So this is a quick view of TCP view. Oh, you probably noticed all that red there. It color codes things, so as sessions get closed, they get colored red, and then yellow is when they start up. So you'll see, if you look at this long enough, you'll see yellow and red, uh, you know, periodically. What I can do here is I will open up Google Chrome in another window, and I'll start, start going to IP addresses or start going to uh, things like CNN. So you saw green, green is sessions being established. I'm going to go to CNN and I hit enter and CNN's coming up and you can see a whole bunch of stuff for Google for Chrome and CNN just went freaking nuts and this is basically all the crap that that web page is loading in so all the different applets all the cookies all the trackers the sales things that's all that junk loading in uh, we could also do something interesting let's do a speed test speedtest.net and we're going to run this speed test Los Angeles Dreamhost my employer awesome okay so that speed test is running and you could see hopefully the sent bytes and the received bytes should be gargantuan okay here we go speed test is running
All right, so we have sent bytes. There we go. So it looks like that game server or something, something, all that good stuff. Okay, speed test is done. So you can see here, the one with the most sent packets is probably gonna be that speed test. Now I'm going to close Google Chrome and that connection will red out and it's going to die. And there we go. So this is a very nice utility if you're in education, if you want to teach about TCP, UDP sockets. Very nice thing, have this open, go to a couple websites and see what comes up. Thanks for watching.